I have so much new makeup to try on and I wanted to kind of chit chat about different brands that me personally, I won't be buying from. Now I'm not saying, now I'm not saying that you, She does this every time I film. Now I'm not saying that you can't buy from these brands. I'm just saying for me personally, I won't be shelling out any coin for their products. There are levels to this stuff, okay? There are some brands that I will not use, period, point blank. Even if it's given to me free, I will not be using it. And there are brands where it's like, I'm not going to physically give you my money, but if it were to come like in a subscription box or be given to me for free, then I would use the products. Let's start off by putting on some makeup, okay? You know, naked mole rats, we gotta, we gotta get this situation taken care of. The first person on my list of people that I will not be buying from is is James Charles. I understand that he's like a fan favorite. He has a cult following. However, I will not be purchasing from him. And the reason being is that he's already been caught up multiple times having inappropriate relationships with minors. Those situations came out a long time ago. I get it, people can change. When it comes to situations like that, especially as a mother, it's a hell no for me. I just, in good conscience, cannot support someone who has engaged in behaviors like that. I've seen the different evidence that people posted of the conversations and just a lot of real creepy stuff coming from James Charles. I believe he was also the guy, now don't quote me on this, but I believe he was also the guy that was like trying to turn straight men, like going specifically going after men that are not homosexual. I have an issue with that. Y'all need to respect people and their boundaries. Like I'm not gonna go up to a homosexual man and try to turn him. You like what you like and more power to you. And it's just, there's been so many instances of him just showing that he has terrible character. And I in good conscience will not be supporting his business. And now when it comes to someone giving me his product for free, I still won't try it. He's the first person on this list where it's like, if I get it for free, I'm not trying it. I will throw that thing swiftly in the trash. Or if it's a like technically a good product, then maybe I'll put it in the giveaway. And if you win it, you know, you can do with it as you please. But me personally, I'm not gonna be using his products because I just, I don't want his stuff on my face. And not only that, if you've seen like the stories about his formulations and things like that, the formula ain't formulated, okay? <laughs> the formula is not formulated and the girlies are mad. <laughs> they said with the little eye paints, they said the little eye paints are really patchy and difficult to work with. So if your product's bad and I don't like you as a brand owner, then why would I even bother supporting you? Cause there are some some people that if they have a bad product, I'll support them in the sense of, you know, get it and then give you critique on how it could be better or what I did not like about the product. But if I don't really care for you as a person, I don't really care to see you thrive or fail. I'm just like indifferent to your whole existence. Then I'm not buying your product. I'm not gonna buy it, especially if I know it's not good. You know, I just, I, I can't get past the talking to younger people in an inappropriate fashion. As a mom, I'd be ready to tear a mofo down for violating my baby. I'd be ready to tear this whole thing down. For that reason, I will not be supporting James Charles or power to him with whatever he comes out with. I won't be putting it on my face. The best place it'll end up is in the trash can or in one of y'all's hands. And I'll probably put that as a poll if I were to get something from a company that I'm not going to use. I'll put up a poll and see if you guys think I should put it in a giveaway or just throw it in the trash. So I'll let y'all decide what you think. I haven't received any products that are on my no-no list. <laughs> we get so many brands in these subscription boxes. So it's just like, it's a matter of time before something from one of these people pops up in my inventory. I gotta figure out what to do with it. This is just my she glam, you know, tried and true. We haven't really gotten to any new new besides that pixie thing, which really isn't new because I tried it the last video. Like I said, if you like James Charles and you like his products, by all means, live your best life. I'm not 
not here to tell you what to do with your money. I'm just saying what I'm doing with mine. I'm not over here, you know, being angry or judgmental of what you want to spend your money on. I'm sure that there are people who don't agree with some of the companies I choose to buy from, right? There's a lot of people that do not like Anastasia Beverly Hill. That's fair. I'm not going to I'm not going to get on them for not wanting to support that business cuz by all means, don't support that business if you don't want to. <laughs> Let's move on to the next person on my no-no list. The next people on my no-no list is a whole family, right? And that is anything Kardashian. I will not be buying with my own money anything from those women. No, no siree. I don't know every single business venture that they have their hands on. So I might inadvertently buy something and not know that it belongs to them, but I won't knowingly spend money on their products. With that being said, if it were to come in a subscription box, right? If it were to come in a subscription, if it were to come in a subscription box, I would use it. I don't dislike the Kardashians and Jenners to the point where, you know, I'm gonna throw their stuff in the trash. If it comes to me, I'll try it, but I just won't be spending my money on their brands. There's so much history of them stealing from smaller creators. It's just, it's ridiculous. And I wanna do some videos where I go into some of these situations a little bit deeper, kind of pull up the evidence and pull up all the lawsuits and all of that for you guys. And I'll probably work on videos like that shortly. Just know I'm not spending my money on anything Kardashian. If you want to, by all means, keep up with the Kardashian and the Jenners. I don't, I, I'm not here to, to manage your wallet. I'm just managing mine. I don't hate them. <laughs> I don't think they're so detestable that I want to throw their stuff in the trash, but will I be buying it with my own hard earned monies? No, absolutely not. This is the first new new. <laughs> it's that little powder puff that we got in our Macy's box. I'm going to use that with my Kosas. This is also kind of new. That goes on really nicely with a powder puff. At first I was like, you know, only gonna use the, the fluffy brush for it, but this actually goes on really nice with a powder puff. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I have no idea what the difference is between a setting powder and a finishing powder. Like, don't it all do the same stuff? <laughs> I I mean, I'm trying to learn, okay? I'm, I'm trying to learn all the things about makeup. I don't know everything. Now for the first new, 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 okay? Like really new. This is the Ofra Mini Mix palette, and I'm gonna be using this for the rest of my face. Let's first go ahead and dip into this bronzer. Ofra is another brand that a lot of people are shying away from. Me personally, I don't think I'll be purchasing Ofra, but obviously if it's in a box, I'm gonna use it. Now the controversy with Ofra was because they were Trump supporters. Ooh, this is a really pretty br brush, blush. This is a really, really pretty blush. Now, like I said, if you don't wanna support Ofra, by all means, don't support them. I'm not here to tell you to support them. I don't care. Spend your coin how you want to spend your coin. I probably won't be buying from Ofra. If it's in the thing, I'll use it. I mean, their product is formulated. Not gonna lie, I'm dipping into this pinky, pinky highlighter. The next brand that I personally will not be supporting is Rare Beauty. Now, I know Rare Beauty is a very loved brand and it looks like they have some really nice products, but will I be paying my own hard-earned money for Rare Beauty? Absolutely not. Now, this one y'all may or may not agree with me on, but it just is what it is. If y'all don't know, unfortunately, because I, I don't wish bad things upon people, unfortunately, Selena Gomez, she had a situation a couple years back where she needed a kidney. Pretty sure it was a kidney. You know, this was a very grave situation for her. She was very sick, and one of her friends stepped up to give her an organ, okay? one of her friends stepped up to give her an organ and all that that friend asked was that she change her lifestyle a little bit right like i'm gonna need you to not <laughs> be drinking and acting reckless with my kidney from my understanding selena agreed to this and was willing to change her lifestyle all that jazz but as soon as the surgery was over and she you know healed up and all that stuff old girl switched up and next thing you know she back to partying and having a good old funky time with this other girl kidney i 
understand that not everybody would feel the same way that I feel about this. However, my whole thing is if I almost die, because every time you go under the knife, there is the possibility of not making it out, right? There is no surgery where it is 100% sure you're going to make it out alive. And not only that, later on in life, what if one of her kidneys start to fail? And now she only has the one, so she's going to need a kidney, kidney transplant. So she really put a lot on the line to help Selena Gomez out. And what does Selena do? Goes right back to partying and acting a fool. And I'm guessing that this is the reason why her and old girl fell out. They're not really, really, really talking anymore. And I understand why. If I give you my vital organ under the pretense that you're not gonna go out there and be drinking, you're not gonna be going out there doing crazy stuff, and you, <laughs> turn right back around and do exactly that. Oh honey, we have a problem. We have a major problem. I understand why old girl would be upset about that. You disrespect the sacrifice that I made to make sure that you are still alive. That really speaks to a character problem. You know what I mean? Like that really does speak to a character, character flaw. I find that disgusting. I'm sorry, just, I find that absolutely disgusting. So when it comes to rare beauty, I'm just, I'm just not gonna spend my money. This is one of those situations where if it comes in something else for the free, well, as part of the price of just getting the box, I'll use it, right? I'm not gonna throw it away. It's probably a really good product, but I'm not spending my hard earned coins buying it. Um, underneath my, I'm gonna go with this one. I just find that kind of disrespect of someone's sacrifice to you so disgusting. I would be like, I'm gonna need you to run me my kidney back. I'm gonna need you to uh, return to sender if you're gonna disrespect my organ like that. Cause it's like, what if she has a child one day that needs that, that kidney and you done rotted it. And it's like, I could have saved my kidney for my kid. Okay, I could have saved my kidney for somebody that would actually appreciate it and not disrespect it in the way that you did so for that reason i just i just will not spend my money on anything selena gomez has going on if it's in the box i'll use it other than that it's a no for me dog the next new that we're gonna try is this charmacy by milano or milano characy characy milano charmacy and this is the color stream multi-chrome liquid eyeshadow i'm gonna try to like cut the crease a little bit with this we'll see how that goes <laughs> we'll see so i can't talk during this because if i do I will jack myself up. That looks so pretty. You can see all the colors, like all of them. Yeah, I'm in love with this liquid. This is something I wanna get more into, is the, the liquid eyeshadows. The payoff is just bam. Today, this is looking really purpley, like very, very purple. I think the other day it was looking more pinky or I don't know, kind of goldy, but today it's looking a little, wait, hold up. I think I almost jacked this side up. I'm gonna definitely have to blend a color into that shadow, but I do wanna let it dry down just a little bit. I find that when I use the same product for different areas of my face, it kind of just like helps the look come together a little bit more. It makes the look more cohesive. Oh yeah, that is hearty. Their formula is formulated, okay? It is formulated. The last person on my list of folks that I will not be supporting, and this is probably number one on my list. Number one on my list is Jeffree Star. You will not be seeing me unbox, open, use anything from Jeffree Star. As far as like me buying, you know, his little mystery boxes or, you know, buying anything from his company, hail to the no, uh, you won't be seeing that over here. There are plenty of girlies that, you know, still support him and more power to them, but I will not be supporting anything from a Jeffree Star. And the reason for this is he has had so many instances of blatant racism and disrespect towards black women. The, the list is very extensive on his level of disrespect towards black women. As a black woman, I don't really take too kindly to that, okay? I don't really take too kindly to that. And from my understanding, he was grown, okay? Very, very much so grown when he was making these very disgusting statements about black women. And this is the Rachel Couture, that black eyebrow pencil that I'm not gonna be able to use as an eyebrow pencil. Who needs this a tight line? Well, I'm gonna try to use it as a tight line. I might not be able to, we'll see. It might be too hard. It's not the easiest to tight line with, but I did get a little tight line 
line in there. You know, with his extensive history of disrespecting black women, and this is another Rachel Couture that we got from our uh, ice cream beauty bag. This is the, the black eyeliner, liquid liner. And I just think his personality is also very jarring and disturbing. And I'm gonna just keep it a buck. He's scary to look at, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but his face is terrifying to me. It is what nightmares are made of for me. I just, I'm not feeling anything about a Jeffree Star. If I were to get some of his products in a box, it's going in the trash. Unless y'all vote otherwise, okay? Like I said, if I get something, I will put it to a vote to my community if you guys want me to include it in a giveaway or just toss that to the trash. That's gonna be up to y'all. Of uh, If it were me, I'd be just tossing it to the trash, but I wanna give y'all a voice, okay? Y'all will be heard if you want me to keep it in a giveaway or not. Now, I need to focus with this because I already suck doing it on this eye, but I might suck even more if I don't focus. So let me do this, B -b -b bad eye. That's as good as I'm gonna be able to get it. I'm not a huge fan of products like this where you gotta like dip into the pot. It just, I don't know, it's just not for me. I will use her just so that I'm not being wasteful, but not my favorite. It felt like it was kind of spreading out a little bit, so I had to make them a little bit thicker than I would like to have, but it's okay. I, I, I mean, the color is opaque, which is good, and it looks, it looks okay. It doesn't look terrible. The next thing is the Rachel and Couture Mascara. Let's see if this does anything to my eyebrows. Not eyebrows, eyelashes. I mean, it's doing something to them. So it's already better <laughs> than that she glam foolishness that we tried. It's already better than that. It's not eaten after my MAC stack or my MAC magic extensions or even that Lacombe. That Lacombe one was really nice. I need to get those in the full size. I'm not even gonna hold you. But I mean, this one is working pretty nicely. I guess I find I don't really care for brushes that are like this. I prefer the bristles a little bit more spread out so you can really get in there. Oh shoot, I just realized I completely forgot to spray. Uh, We're gonna wait for this to dry down a little bit and then we're gonna do a little spritz, spritz, spritz. Today I'm gonna be using the Hydro Grip by Milk. I've been using her, okay? She all the way down to here and the rest of this is just bubbles. So she's, she's getting love. That's something that I do wanna kinda talk about is I understand that when it comes to doing beauty content and getting all of these different products, that it seems a bit wasteful, right? Cause it's like, realistically, am I gonna be able to work through all of these eyeshadow palettes? Probably not. I'm gonna try my best to use as much of it as I possibly can. So for instance, like you see, this is getting used. I've been using her. And unless I truly, truly love something, I won't rebuy it. Cause I constantly have more and more products coming in. And I wouldn't be surprised if I get this in a box moving forward. So I'm gonna try to use up the products that I have, okay? You will see repeats, especially when it comes to like setting sprays, primers, things like that. I will use them. One part that's gonna be a little difficult is eyeshadow palettes because I get so many eyeshadow palettes, it's gonna be difficult to pan them. There might be some that get loved more than others, but with there being so, so many coming in, it's gonna be very difficult to pan them. However, I will try my best. I will try my best to work through some of them for like different videos. So if I have videos where I'm not necessarily trying something new. I'm just kind of chit chatting and getting ready. I will use those products and try to work through them. I just want to let y'all know I am very conscious of trying to make use of the products that I have so that I'm not being wasteful. And that's why like if I know I got something that I have too many of, I throw it in the giveaway. <laughs> Even if it's something new, I haven't tried it yet. I throw it in the giveaway so that somebody else can get more use out of it since I have so many products like highlighters. I have so many freaking highlighters and so many blushes it's ridiculous. Blushes, highlighters, liquid lipsticks. Yeah, I have a lot of those and eyeshadow palettes. When I can, I will throw products like that into the giveaway so that I'm not hoarding too many products. But I also, I also fancy myself as a collector. I enjoy collecting the makeup. So it's gonna be well loved. It's gonna be well taken care of and used. I'm gonna use these products. I just wanna make sure I addressed the whole overconsumption aspect of it. Do I think everybody needs all of these products? Absolutely. Absolutely not. Unless you love makeup and you're a collector or you're a makeup artist, there's no reason to hoard a bunch of products. Find something you love and then stick to it. And then if you wanna try things, you know, some new things, then maybe go for like sample sizes when you can. But if you're a lover of makeup and you like having collections of makeup, or if you're a content creator, you're using makeup, then I don't see an issue with indulging in those things. You know what I'm saying? If you're just buying things to just throw them away, then that's a problem. That's weird. I think this is dry down 
down enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my Milk Hydro Grip and we'll move on to the lips. I love how that feels on my skin. Love how setting spray feels. It just kind of feels so good. And then I love how it melts everything in place. Cause it's like everything looks so powdery and then you put the setting spray on there and it just melts into skin. I'm gonna have to try that technique where you spray throughout your routine and see if that makes my makeup hold a little bit better. Now for the lips, I'm not gonna lie. I'm obsessed with these eyes. Bruh, get into it. That pink going into that duochrome is everything. For my lips, I'm gonna go in with my lippy pencil by ColourPop in the color Bounce. This one is so smooth, I absolutely love it. It just goes on like a freaking dream. All right, and this is the Beauty for Certain in two, number two. This is like a liquid matte lipstick. Hopefully it goes with this look. Mmm. That is pretty and it smells so good. I don't really wear a lot of liquid lipsticks cause they like dry your lips out so much. I just, I usually opt for lipsticks or like lip balms or lip glosses, but this one feels really good so far. Guys, do it feel like when it dries? I used to live for a good liquid lipstick, but now I just, I don't know. Oh, that's pretty, ooh. Only thing is I feel like my blush has just disappeared. Like I feel like it completely disappeared so I'm I'm gonna add a little bit more of this blush because this blush is really, really pretty. Y'all know your girl likes to be borderline jigsaw. Oh yeah, that's pretty. With my glasses off, that look real pretty. All right, let's see. Let's assess. Back y'all up a little bit. This is the final look. I think it looks cute. I think everything I used today worked very well. Make sure I ain't got no lipstick on my lips. Well, I want it on my lips, not my teeth. I meant to say no lipstick on my teeth. Definitely want it on the lips. I mean, bleh. I think I'm serving with this look. Ooh. I love, love, love that duochrome. Well, actually it's multi-chrome. That multi-chrome blended in with that pink, that deeper pink from the Ofer palette just looks magical. It is giving unicorn, okay? It's giving grown unicorn, you know what I mean? And I'm here for it. The eyeliner, not my favorite. The mascara is okay. If I was on a desert island and that was the only mascara I had access to, I would use her. The lips feel good. Let me see, let me see if it like, you know when you have some liquid lipsticks and you pat your lips together like this and then just rips off, like the color just goes somewhere. I'm not getting that. Let me know what you think in the description box. Let me know what products you're like, yes girl, I need to get that too. <laughs> and what products you're like, ooh, throw that in the trash. That ain't doing you no services. This was a game changer. I should have been color correcting this whole time. <laughs> and I used to color correct all the time, but I think I got lazy. I think I got lazy and wanted to skip to the fun part, which is like the blush and the eyeshadow and the lid. But the steps are there for a reason, okay? Like the girlies say on TikTok, trust the process. This is a tried and true process. This ain't no crazy stuff like putting lipstick all over your forehead. No shade, no tea. Are there any makeup brands that you personally will not be supporting? And why? <laughs> That's what I wanna know. So let me know in the comment section. Um, how do you feel about my no-no list? You, you vibing with my no-no list or you think I'm crazy for having some of these people on my no-no list? Y'all let me know. We can have a good dialogue about it. It don't gotta be no dramatic situation. It could just be a cute little dialogue. Oh, you like that brand? Oh, you don't wanna, you don't f that brand? Okay, cool. We can, we can just <laughs> share each other's listing and move on. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay and I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces!